Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss how we can create NFS share in SVM cluster mode NetApp. There are four steps we need to perform to create NFS shares. First step is to create a volume with security style Unix. Second step is to create an export policy. Third step is to create a rule within the export policy. And then the fourth step will be to assign the newly created export policy to the volume. Now let's create the volume first by executing the command volume create then the volume name. I will give it as a share 2. Then the aggregate name we have to mention. We have to mention the data aggregate here. We cannot uh, use root aggregate to create a volume. In my case, data AGGR01 is the data aggregate. Now we have to provide the size. I will give it as 30 MB. Then we need to provide the security type Unix, the V server that will be VS1. And then we have to provide the junction path, which will be slash share to let's say hit enter. So no error came up. So we have successfully created the volume. Now let's move towards the second step that is uh, creation of uh, export policy that we can do by executing command v server export policy create then the policy name i will give the policy name same as the volume name that will be shared to and then we have to mention the v server that is vs1 and then hit enter so no error came up so we have also created an export policy now we have to create a rule within the export policy. So the main purpose of creating export policy and the rule is to provide permissions to a Unix server for the NFS share that we are creating. So in order to create the rule, execute the command v server export policy rule create then the policy name it will be shared to then the client match. So here you have to mention the FTDN of the Unix server or the IP address. In my case, I do have a Unix machine whose IP is 198.168.15.173. Then RO rule will be any. Then RW rule will also be any. Then hyphen super user, I will give it as any. Then the protocol. So there are six protocols here we can mention. So based on your environment standard or the requirement, you can select. In my case, I will give it as uh, any now let's hit enter so no error came up so we have successfully created a rule within the export policy in order to see the rules execute the command v server export policy rule show and the v server name and the policy name in our case it's share to and then hit enter so here we can see the rule within the export policy share to now the last step will be to modify the volume share to in order to assign the export policy that we just have created that we can do by executing the command volume modify and the volume name in our case it is uh, share to then the v server name which is uh, vs1 and then the policy and here we need to provide the policy name which is share to now hit enter so we have successfully modified the volume so all the steps has been done from the netapp sites now we will be mounting it in the unix server so before proceeding that if you are creating nfs share for the first time then one thing you need to see that what are the rule assigned to the policy default so why we need to do is because we have mounted the volume share to over the root volume and default is the export policy which will be assigned to the root volume if no policy is mentioned in that particular rule then you won't be able to mount it in the unix server now let's see the rules for default policy by executing the command v server export policy rules show then the v server name that is vs1 and then the policy name which is a default and hit enter so there are no entry matching because there are no rule assigned to the policy name default so now we have to create a rules within the policy name default in order to do that execute the command v server export policy rule create and the policy name is default and the client match here i will give access to 
all servers but in your environment based on your standard you can also provide access to a net group or a subnet or a domain so in order to provide access to all ip address or the host i just have to type 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0 now ro rule will be any rw rule will also be any and uh, the super user i will give it as any and protocol i will give it as any now let's hit enter now as we have completed all the steps let's log into a unix server first of all let me execute the command vf h this command output will show what are the mount point present in the unix server so this particular steps usually be done by unix administrator but if you are managing unix servers on your own then you can also perform these steps but you have to follow the standards that you have in your environment so in my case just to show that the unix share is working fine i will mount it so first of all let me create a directory under root directory and i will give the name as uh, mount now let me mount the volume here by executing command mount space then the ip address of the lift where the volume is present in my case it's 192.168.15.205 then colon and then the junction path and then i have to mention the mount point name slash mount and hit enter so no error came up it means we have successfully mounted the volume here now again execute the command df-h here we can see that a network device has also been uh, mounted here so this concludes the video on nfs share creations in svm cluster mode data if you have any question or any extra knowledge on this please comment don't forget to subscribe for more videos and again Thank you for watching.